Hello everyone, my name is John. Today I will tell you how to set up data upload from the Active Campaign CRM system to eSputnik. This is necessary to automatically transfer new deals from Active Campaign to other systems. For example, in eSputnik, create new contacts each time a new deal is added to Active Campaign. It is convenient to store, process and interact with them in every possible way in the future. Now let's move on to the setup. First you need to create a new connection. Next, you need to select the Active Campaign data source system. Then you need to select an action get new deals. At this stage, you need to connect your Active Campaign account to the Apex Drive service. In this window, you must specify the API domain and API key. In order to get this data, you need to go to your Active Campaign account. Next, go to the Settings section. Next, go to the Developer section. Copy the URL and key and paste them into the appropriate fields in the Apex Drive system. When the required fields are filled, click Save. When the connected login is displayed in the list, select it and click Continue. In this case, there are no additional settings, so just click Continue. At this stage, you can set up a data filter, in this case there is no need for this, so we also click Continue. At this stage, you see test data for your active campaign deal. If everything suits you, click Next. This completes the setting of the active campaign data source successfully. Now you need to move on to setting up data reception. Choose eSputnik as the data receiving system. Next, you need to select an action, Add Contacts. At this stage, you need to connect your eSputnik account to the Apex Drive service. In this window, you must enter your login and password from your eSputnik account. When all the required fields are filled, click Save. When the connected account is displayed in the list, select it and click Continue. Now you need to select the address book to which contacts from Active Campaign will be transferred. Next, fill in the fields with variables from Active Campaign that will be passed to eSputnik. In order to assign a variable, click on the field to which you need to transfer data and select the required variable from the drop down list. When all the necessary data is assigned, click Continue. At this stage, we see the test data that will be sent to eSputnik when creating a new deal. In order to check the correctness of the settings, click Send Test Data to eSputnik. If everything suits you, we return to the Apex Drive service and continue the configuration. On this, the eSputnik data reception setup has been successfully completed, now you need to enable auto-update. Select the communication interval, for example once every 5 minutes. That's all, I wish you successful integration settings and good luck.